We're going to finish up talking about chapter 21 and then move on to 22. And kind of the way that I want to arrange this discussion is to get everyone to talk, um, to kind of measure your assessment. So I have those chairs up there. I'm going to line them up. And those are going to be kind of like the hot seats. So, so I, I did this because um, in the feedback for the group, the group work, someone had mentioned something like this. Um, just kind of getting everyone engaged to kind of see where you guys are, check your assessment. Um, and I think there's a lot of voices we don't hear in this room. There's some we hear more than others, which those voices are great. And they really kind of help the discussion flow. But I want to hear everyone. So once we finish up 21 and move on to 22, I'm going to set these chairs up. And you can only speak when you're in the chair, OK? So I'm going to throw a question out there to start us off. And five people who think they have a response to it should go sit in the chairs, OK? So, so are you asking them if they're taking too long? So if you're not up there, you have something to say, you should write a note about it or just remember it for when you get in the chair. Um, what I want to do, though, is have everyone in the room make at least two comments. So that's an observation, a question that they had, um, while, and that's while they're in the chair. So once they make those two comments, then they should go sit, sit in their seats so someone else can take their spot. Okay? So I wanted to be focused primarily on chapter 22, but I also want you guys to try to make some other connections. So a great comment is just like, when Brother Jack said this, it made me think about blah, blah, blah. And that could be something related to your life or to things that are happening in the world today, that kind of thing. Just like relevant connections or something that is like a flashback to a different part of the book, something like that. Or maybe you just have a question for the rest of your classmates about something you didn't quite understand. Okay? A comment that is not sufficient is just saying like, oh, this is a dandy chapter. Okay? So, um, we're going to finish 21, like I said, and then we'll start that. Okay? So, chapter 21, we left on that quote on page 458. Tell them to teach them that when they call you N to make a rhyme with trigger, it makes the gun backfire. So I asked you guys to kind of go home and think a little bit about that last night. Did anyone come up with ideas about what that meant? Yeah, Lawrence, you got kind of got cut off yesterday. Oh, Do you still remember, kind of? Oh, well, I was just saying that I think that when a policeman is kind of profiling someone, if they blatantly say that that's what they were doing or something along those lines, and it just takes the argument out of the crime that the victim was doing. OK, so that overshadows anything that might be going on before. OK, good. Anyone want to add to that? Victor? I follow on the lines of making sure, like making them make the police officers think twice before shooting someone else just because of the police flag. So it's making sure that there's, there's going to be backlash and it's not something nice to do and just forget about it. So it's something, I guess, it's telling the community to take action and then that there's going to be consequences. So think twice before you actually decide. Okay, good. So, yeah, there will be consequences. Okay. So, trying to kind of protect this yeah, community yeah. from, right? Okay, good, yeah, so two good ideas about the consequences and about um, kind of warping your, what the purpose of your task is, right? Which is to make people feel safe. However, it's got those consequences if you kind of take the power that you have and use it in improper ways. So here, there's unintended consequences of him pulling that trigger because he's shooting a black man because he's black. Right? And that blows up in his face, and the whole community is turned against him. 
victim. So rather than the police van making everyone feel safe, they, feel, they kind of feel more vulnerable. Yeah? Um, I think that, uh, okay, well, I'm not sure that that's okay. Um, but I think that means that when you use someone being black as an excuse to kill them, then, like, when they, by they keep doing, like, by using, yeah, by using the fact that someone's black as an excuse to kill them, it's going to cause the backfire. I mean, like, if you keep doing this, like, I'm going to fight back. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I think you guys are kind of on the same path there. Um, and is actually doing the exact opposite of what your action is intended to. Okay? Any other thoughts on that? I think that's a really important one, Michelle. I thought about the Yeah, I think that's a really good point, too. So we're, we were talking kind of in a broader sense about how it impacts the community, but it also does hurt him, right, personally. Okay, good. Anyone else? Okay, so he leaves the funeral, um, and he's kind of just wandering around. And then at the end of the chapter, on page 461, it says, and through the haze I again felt the tension. There was no denying it, it was there, and something had to be done before it simmered away in the heat. So, what's the tension that he's feeling? What's that? Yeah, so the brotherhood, as we saw before the funeral, is ignoring him. Right? He can't get a hold of anyone, they lock him out of the meeting, he doesn't know what's going on in his district, and then he kind of just gives this impromptu speech and he knows it kind of goes against what they stand for. Um, so he knows that something's going to happen. And that kind of leads us into chapter 22. Okay, so let's get this started. Um, question I want to ask to start it off is kind of somewhat just comprehension and get the conversation started. So um, when... When the narrator walks into the room where his brothers have gathered, what is their reaction to him, and why do they behave in such a fashion towards their brother? So if anyone has a thought on that, just raise your hand, and I'll call you up to come here and then start speaking. So my goal with this is to have me kind of just moderate, and you guys pretty much lead the discussion. Um, I, I don't want to talk too much. I want all you guys. So, if you've got something to say, point to me. You're up here. If you see someone else with a hand raised and you're done, you can stand up and ask them to replace you and just keep it going. Okay, so Alex, Lawrence. So, I'm just, so at the very beginning of the chapter, right? Um, the narrator, yeah, you can go. The narrator um, walks into the room where the brothers have gathered. Why do they treat him the way that they do? So how do they treat him and why do they treat him that way when he gets there? And if I could also ask you guys to um, try to speak up, that would be awesome because you're being filmed. Okay? So say hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so whoever wants to start, just go ahead. Now it's kind of on you guys. <laughs> 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 I'm 